Hi guys, so a quick reaction video for you today. I waited off releasing a video um, on the Valtteri Bottas news that obviously broke earlier today because I thought this news that Ocon has just been announced at Renault for 2020 replacing Nico Hülkenberg has just gone live guys and I know overkill for you guys today. We already had our two pre-planned videos uh, going out but I just feel something needs to be said um with these guys so it'll only be a quick reaction for you guys so uh Valtteri Bottas first staying at Mercedes I think that is a really good move for him actually um and he deserves it I think Mercedes have made the right move here um they are doing so well they have such good team harmony they're smashing constructors and drivers titles year after year uh, Bottas is just makes things so easy. Him and Lewis get on. It makes complete sense to keep him um, for the short term at least. It wasn't worth kind of as Red Bull are improving as well um, and could be up there again challenging uh, Mercedes for the constructors and drivers titles next year if they continue this rate of development with Honda. So you've got to go. They're just going to play it safe. And why wouldn't you in their situation, guys? I think it's a really smart move. But Esteban Ocon, he did deserve a seat back in F1. Really harsh the way that he lost his force in the seat last year because his performances didn't necessarily warrant it being dropped, especially not to be replaced by Lance Stroll. But you, we all know in F1, if you can bring the money, then you can guarantee yourself a seat. So Esteban Ocon has been confirmed replacing uh Nico Hülkenberg at Renault and again a really good move for Ocon um it's a less pressure environment for him to perform keep developing and if he is going to be a world championship contender in the future this is a really good learning place because Renault are pumping a load of money in and surely that money is going to come out and um benefit them with performance soon enough and he has a really good teammate in Daniel Ricciardo who I'm sure will help him learn along the way as well as being a good challenge to compete up against. Uh, where does this leave Nico Hülkenberg? I've released it now because I surely we can't get all this news all at once and Nico Hülkenberg's seat to be confirmed next year um, today as well but because the rumours were it was Ocon and Bottas to, Bottas to be announced today. Nothing on Hülkenberg. The main thing that keeps being touted is that he's going to go to the Haas seat. Uh, I, I think it'd be really interesting. Obviously, his history with K-Mag um, is a little bit of a... Ooh, um, there's history between those two, but Hülkenberg's very professional. And I'm sure if they had a meeting, they can put things aside. But obviously... The competition between Magnus and Grosjean is what's torn down their partnership and led to Haas essentially looking for a new driver if they choose to get rid of Roman Grosjean uh, next season. Um, so obviously Haas is an option for Hülkenberg, the one that's most touted. Also Red Bull can really be an option for him if Albon doesn't quite perform, would be a consistent performer, would essentially be a like-for-like -like switch for what Ricardo was. Ricardo, you can argue, is a better driver. Hülkenberg never securing a podium in his F1 career, but in a car like the Red Bull, you never know he might be able to um, perform with them. Anyway, guys, that is a quick reaction uh, from us here at F1 Fanatics. Um, we are going to be doing a full weekly news roundup. Uh, so if anything else comes out today, um, we will be able to tell you what is going on tomorrow in that video guys but again thanks for watching guys uf1 fans keep racing